Hey everyone, this is Matt with Motion VFX. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our brand new plugin called M Channel Modern for DaVinci Resolve. So once you have M Channel Modern installed, you can find it under the effects library. It's under video transitions as well as titles. You can also click on toolbox and search for modern and that will just bring up everything that's included in this pack all in one location. This pack comes with 50 total presets, including add-ons, backgrounds, overlays, lower thirds, and all kinds of things. So let's go ahead and put together a quick edit here. So I could use one of the included intros to start off this video. A lot of these are really nice and sleek, but I'm really excited to show you this opener that we have here. Now this, if I drag this on to the timeline, you will notice that it plays back rather quickly. And that's because this title is really built for eight seconds. So I'm just going to drag this out to cover eight seconds. And another thing you'll notice about this opener is right at about three seconds, it will start to reveal whatever you have sitting right below. So it's a great way to kind of ease into a video. Of course, we can customize all of the text, including the text that kind of borders around the opener. That's going to be under the header and footer controls. And we also have complete control over all the colors and even the color of the footage. As you can see, it does create this really nice gradient over our footage. So under the background controls, the very last color is actually a gradient. You can see it's got these two triangles and you can actually click on these to adjust each independent color that makes up the gradient. So maybe for this, I will push this down a little bit, making it a little more dark with sort of a blue undertone. And then if I click on the other triangle here, I could adjust this color if I wanted to, but I think I am going to leave it at the default orange. And of course, we could also add our own logo here, or if we don't have a logo, we could just write some custom text, but I think I'm just going to add our logo. It's looking a little bit big, so I'll just scale this down and let's take a look at what we have. Okay, that looks nice. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of our lower thirds. I think this one looks nice. Let's go ahead and kind of stagger this so that it actually starts to animate as our opener begins to end. And I think right here, we can also probably add a transition. So at the very bottom here, you can see we have five of these different transitions. And I'm gonna try number four here. This one just kind of creates a diagonal line and swipes across the screen there. I think it looks nice. So let's say you wanted to separate the intro from the main meat of the video. You might want to put a full screen title or something. So we could combine several of our titles with some of these backgrounds. These are really nice. Some of them even use whatever is beneath them. Similar to our opener, you can see this one will actually change the color of the footage beneath. But I'm actually going to try out one of these overlays. Let's try number two here. And you can see this one similarly creates a gradient, but also scales and crops three copies of the footage. And right on top of this, I'm actually going to try out one of these titles here. So again, I like to kind of stagger these just slightly so they don't all start at the same exact time. And let's customize the text here. So I think the overlays, again, can kind of work as a background. And with this title, I can adjust some of the frame controls. We could, you know, move this thing around. We could change the size if we had, you know, bigger text in here or even the thickness of the frame. I think I'm just going to leave all of these at their default values for now. And let's go ahead and take advantage of some of these add-ons. And I'm going to try number three here. So if I just drag this and put it right on top of our title, you can see it creates these lines here. And if I use this little drop down menu and switch this to fusion overlay, I can actually grab this handle here and reposition this. And let's say I want to add the exact same thing over on this side. So I'm going to hold alt or option if you're on a Mac and I'm just going to drag this up to the upper track there. Let's move this down to give us some more room. And with this one, I'm actually going to go over to the regular video settings and I'll just flip it along the horizontal axis. 
and let's just take all three of these, the title and both add-ons, let's just trim them to end where the footage ends. I think we could also add something here in this portion of the video, so let's see, let's try number two. And one thing I want to point out with these overlays, or really any effect that uses the background footage as a part of the overall effect, if you decide you want to make a change, for example, if I wanted to move this overlay to a different location on my timeline, you might have some glitches where it remembers what used to be underneath it and it's kind of trapped inside the cache. So if you ever run into that, what you can do is select the problematic title and come up to playback, delete render cache, and just select clips. And that will just recache that particular title. I think I am actually going to reposition this over here. So again, I'm going to have to come up here, delete selected render cache. Now moving on, let's take a look at some of these social media handles. So there are six total and these are again, just a great way to kind of shout your own channel out, your own accounts, things like that. And any of these that have the logo option, like for example, number two here, let's just drop this right over our footage. With these, you can actually go into the logo controls and select which social media platform you're trying to promote. You can also change the text, of course, and maybe for this, we will size it down just a bit like that. So let's take a look at everything that we have so far. Sweet. And I think maybe we can use one of these intros as kind of a closer. Even though they're called intros, I think they still work really great for kind of an in-screen title animation. So let's try this very last one here. I'm just going to drop this. And again, I want to sort of stagger it a little bit as this last clip is ending. Because as you can see, it does create kind of a fade on like this. And I'm also going to come into the logo controls and add our own logo. And maybe we can also customize this text here. Cool. So as you can see, there are tons of possibilities with this pack. And I just built together this really simple edit. Took me almost no time at all. And we have a really cool, sleek, flashy looking modern video. You can check out M-Channel Modern over on our website at motionvfx.com. And that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.